Hi, my name is Adina Hopkins. I'm a multimedia artist and today we're going to be doing a color slash light study exercise to get you guys used to using different colors and uh, we're going to have fun doing it. So today guys, we are going to do, like I said earlier, a color and light exercise. I like doing this exercise because it gets me out of that mindset of this color is supposed to be this color. A table is supposed to be brown because I see it as brown. Um, and also to show that when you put a blue light on top of a red light, you're going to get purple and you get to actually use the color wheel. So we're going to start. We have a pig today that we're going to be drawing and let's get started. So you can go ahead and like make a sketch of the object that you're drawing, but it's not necessary. You can just go in and just start. This is a gesso board. Uh, you can use just canvas or just a regular piece of paper. I'm using oil pastels. You can use colored pencils or acrylic paint or chalk, whatever to your heart's desire. And let's start. I'm just going in with a light red just so I can get this sketched out. A little blob bean body. You don't only have to do this on like singular objects. You can set up a whole elaborate still life. You can go outside and do a landscape. And I like to do this exercise really quickly so you don't start paying attention really hard on the uh, the form of the object that you're drawing but so you can concentrate more on the color okay so the front of the pig is a yellowish color and the back is a it's a vibrant fuchsia like color and when you usually think of a pig stereotypical pig you'll think of just pink so this takes you out of that mindset so i'm going to go in with a yellow Buff that out a little bit. Also, doing this exercise outside helps you work on shadows and using the natural daylight to show the different time of the year and season and all that fun stuff. You get the different hues of sunset and the winter. It helps out a lot and you just remove yourself from your, your perception of things. This red, hmm, maybe blue. Start off lightly with this blue. And then sometimes when you're doing this like in a dark area with multiple lights on, 
you can't see the actual colors of your um, your drawing media. So it might come out a completely different color from what you initially thought it was going to be, too. So just have fun with this and don't expect it to be exactly how you want it to turn out. Also, these are paint sticks. I was introduced to them and they're really cheap. They're just like oil pastels. They're like a dollar. You can get them at like a farm store. They come in like the primary colors and orange and all that fun stuff. They blend really well. And once you get comfortable breaking out of that mindset of an object supposedly being a certain color, you'll be more comfortable just creating your own characters or landscapes without having to depend on a reference sometimes. Come back with that blue. I know it's messy, but I like using my fingers to weirdly get more control. I would suggest having a paper towel on hand though, so everything doesn't get super muddled. Because in some situations, that blue is going to overpower like this color. It is a pink peg. So don't try to force it because when you get done, it's like, oh, that doesn't look like how I, I see it in real life. Go with it. Also, I'm using LED lights, but you don't have to always have those. You can just get a regular lamp, um, get some thin colored paper, and just stick that over it. Just remember that uh, it will heat up, so just be mindful of that. Or you could just go outside and just go at different times of day and see how drastically the color shifts. And you can just get you know, like a variety of colors and like in the color pencil pack and pastels. I like to mix my own colors just, just to practice. Let's see when you're you know, learning the paint. It gets really expensive buying a bunch of different colors when you can just get the primary colors and you can get white and black and you can make a lot of colors yourself you don't have to do this with a colored object you can also just try it out on eggs they're cheap and efficient not inefficient but uh, efficient yeah and they're white so you can just keep mixing colors on top of it because with this composition I'm fighting with um, red tones I'm gonna call it good. So, thank you for drawing with me.